both of these guys extremely powerful. I, I would be surprised if we get a distance fight. Yeah, there, there has to be a finish this fight. Ooh, very athletic kicks from Bradford. Hard right hand from Julius. Both guys are quick. Yeah, these are some fast heavyweights. At 130 and 120 pounds, yeah. these are not. Takedown attempt from Julius. See if Kobe can defend it. Oh, big Julius slam. A big slam. Bradford holding on to that head, looking like he might be trying to cinch up that yeah. guillotine. That was Julius. very powerful from Julius. A double leg off the cage. And he did say that. He said, my wrestling is going to be a difference. Yeah. Very dominant on the ground. Cody doing a good job of keeping that underhook. He's controlling that yep. same side hand so he can't get struck. Yeah, Julius, Julius is going to have to start landing some strikes here. Looking to attack that Kimura. Okay. Looks like he has it locked out. Wow. Taking the arm straight of Radford. He might finish this. Looking for a straight arm lock off that Kimura. Extending it in that, oh, that, that that's Irvin. Oh, brutal. Rolling that elbow, oh, which man. is just so painful. Kobe's doing good at defending, though. Turning back in to secure that half. As you can see with the more experienced guys, though, they, they don't close their guard quite as much and, yeah. you know, unless they're going for an active submission. Right. Trying to keep it open and getting ready up to those yeah. feet. Those knee shields. Yeah, Kobe's he's looking to get up at, at all moments. He's not just laying there content. Walker's pressure just seems yeah. to be... Oh, okay. Great nice. transition as soon as I talk. Bradford just shuts me up. A oh, big switch. Wow. Huge! Suplex to take <laughs> the transition and then Walker right Walker back, back up right into another <laughs> huge takedown. Oh my I, goodness. I, I love this wrestling Tip back and for forth tap. Right here. Montana's getting excited with the wrestling <laughs> over here, the USA wrestling. Nice. Bradford holding on to the head. It looks like Julius could be. Possibly attacking Von Flute? No. No, just content to stay here in Seven 10 seconds. seconds. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, well, Bradford had his moment, but I'd give that, that round to Walker. Right Unfortunately, there. <laughs> the moment shifted immediately. Yeah. And Exciting, I, though. That took a lot of energy. Yeah. That was a suplex. <clears throat> I knew this fight would be very competitive. But. Bradford not taking the bench, just kind of hanging out. I don't think of any consequence, probably just his personal preference to yeah. chill on the side there. I always actually like to stand. I find that unless I'm actually hurt or tired, if I sit down, my legs start to yeah. get a get little bit. Yeah, get that lactic acid going in there. Just so used to wrestling and just stay pacing up and down. Yeah. I think we give the nod to Julius on that round, but yeah. definitely, uh, definitely a, a taxing round for both of them. Both guys trying to find their range again. Ooh. Julius is pressuring Kobe against the cage right here. Looking for his underhooks. Oh, now he's looking for that double leg again. And he switches off to the single. Back to the double here. Oh, he's, yeah. Big double leg. Wow. Julius's double legs are great. 
he's serious, he's putting good series together. Double to single, yeah. back to double. Yeah, he's not just trying to do one. He's transitioning very well. Again, this pressure just stifling, although Bradford clearly doing a good job of negating any damage. Looking to go over for his own Kimura, but Kimura, yep. kinda going back to that wrist control. Julius has a really good position here in half guard. He's gonna look to land some damage. He's just gotta get his head up a little bit and start landing some damage. Pressure leaving uh, Cody unable to really get anything started, offense or defense. Yeah, Julius's pressure is just so good here against the cage. He's trying to set that Kimura up, but every time he does. Big right hands. Julius just unleashing. Knowing that he's got Bradford in trouble now. Continuing to rain down blows. Cody unable to do anything to stop yep. it, and he passes yeah. there again. Continuing to pepper. Bradford really has to start working up here. Forty seconds to go. And when you're stuck on need somebody like this for a whole round, it uh, just takes yeah. the legs out of you. It takes the cardio out of you. Especially these big guys. <laughs> Bradford doing a good job to get his back up to the cage. Now hopefully he can try to use those butterflies, push himself, but just not a lot of time to work left. Twenty seconds in the round coming up. And I mean, Julius is not yeah. going to overextend. He's happy to stay yeah. here, keep working. I mean, obviously, Kobe's trying to get up, but Julius's pressure is just phenomenal right here. He's just doing everything right to keep Kobe up against the cage with nowhere to go. Well, and as a grappler yourself, I, I know, um, and it's one of those things that it's hard to see grappling. Yeah. You know, those who are uneducated or the fans who don't really participate in jujitsu or, or wrestling might say, well, just get up. Um, <laughs> it's way more technical than that. That pressure <laughs> is very difficult to get up yeah. from. And the further the fight goes on, the harder that is. Yeah. And that's just years of being in the gym and finding your own body awareness and just being in those positions daily. I always tell, uh, tell people who ask me, you can see striking. You feel grappling. Yeah. So unless you felt it before, it can be a little bit uh, hard to understand. But yeah. I can promise you, uh, Cody Bradford is doing everything in his power as a man <laughs> to, to stand up. up. <laughs> and Julius Walker is not letting it happen. No. Both of these heavyweights still in great condition, ready to go for the third yeah, round. Yeah, they are. Third and final round right I here. imagine Cody's going to come out pretty heavy. Knowing that he may be down two rounds to one, maybe one to one. Depending on how that first round was scored. But likely down two rounds to one. Yeah. So leg kicks by Julius, circling off the cage. Oh, when he grabs that, that kick. Julius back to the single, then he'll probably go back to the double. Looks to be riding that high crotch, then oh, pinch oh. on the pipe maybe. Back, back to, the, to double. the double. That's bread and butter right there. Yeah, back back down again. Ooh, might be able to step over here for that leg lace, but Bradford doing a good job to pull back to his butterflies. And we find ourselves back in that position. Yep. Okay, Bradford's almost back up to his feet. Stuffing that head very well. Coming over, over Julius' head, and now he's back down underneath him. Julius is just doing a very good job of keeping the bottom leg secured. Yeah. And that's the leg that he needs. Bradford needs to clear that leg. Now he goes for the attack on the Kimura, a, a, a possibility here, but difficult with the cage on your yeah. back there. I mean, he got the sweep in the first round with that Kimura grip. Kobe's gonna start using the cage here to try and scoot up and get back to his feet. Yeah. 
And still great pressure by Julius here. Julius is just content to <laughs> keep this pressure. He knows that he's going to get opportunities to strike every once in a while so he can pepper up. One minute to go here. I'd like to see it go maybe a little more damage, but. Yeah, but very controlling. He might feel that if he does that, Cody's just going to explode out. Right. So hard to get your feet spread and wide when they're just controlling that bottom foot. Yeah, he's doing a good job just staying over the top of uh, Kobe's legs and not letting him shrimp out or get his feet underneath him. And this is one of those things that, you know, maybe the casual fan or some fans don't like, but uh, that cage grappling is a huge part of the game. Yeah, it's brutal too. It's exhausting. And, uh, you know, the, the goal is to win. Yeah. <laughs> so when you find a strategy that's effective and it's low damage and you can go in and out. Yeah, and stay with it. <laughs> no need to get out of yourself. And Cody just unable to have an answer for the pressure of Julius Walker. Well, pretty dominating for Julius there. I would say so. Yeah. I would say so. This bout going the distance, coming down to the judges by unanimous decision. Your winner out of the blue corner, Julius Juicebox Walker. Julius, dominant, amazing performance. Uh, I noticed you point out to the crowd at your shoulder there. We didn't notice anything. Did something happen there in the fight? First round, literally like my first takedown, my shoulder came out. I fought that whole fight with one arm. I knew my shoulder was out. I just wasn't gonna lose. I need this 5,000. I'm tired of being broke. <laughs> <laughs> we all understand that. Um, that said, I can see your arm out, sir. You had a fantastic win. If you'd like to get out there to the medic, yeah. good job, and we can't wait to watch you again. Julius, fantastic victory. Thank you. Shout out to Paige, I love you. Mom, I love you. Meg, I love you. Rainy, I love you. Team Fusion. Here comes the second round, Julius Juice Box Walker, guys. <laughs> 